William Henry Pope enthusiastically welcomed the project for union of the colonies. He believed that confederation was inviolable and that it would give islanders greater weight in dealing with the leasehold system. He attended the Charlottetown and Quebec conferences, but had to face the fact that confederation was deeply unpopular locally. After delegates returned from Quebec, Pope became involved in conflict within his party over the issue. Such discord resulted in the formation of a new conservative government in January 1865, led by his younger brother, James Collidip Pope, whose position on confederation was vague. William resigned as ex executive counselor and colonial secretary in 1866 and never again stood for elective office. William remained editor of the Islander with two aims in mind, confederation for the island and reconstruction of the conserv conservative party with a strong confederate presence. His strategy was to promote discord within the liberals, who won the general election of 1867, but who had leadership problems of their own and were divided on the land and school questions. In 1870, the liberals split over the school question with all Catholic legislators except one joining a second, James called Pope government which made the building of the railway its policy. The project for which William had advocated for years promoted far too expensive for the island's treasury, and on July 1st, 1873, the island entered the Dominion of Can Canada.